Hi everyone, Menachem Brody here with you once again for Human Vortex Training. Today to talk about bibs and chamois. How do you choose the right one for you? Bibs and shorts and chamois. How do you choose the right one for you? Now, what the heck is a chamois? So when we talk about chamois, we're talking about the pad in through here. Now chamois used to be made out of leather. If you can imagine back in the day, it was leather stitched in so that the rider's backside wouldn't become raw from riding in the saddle and sitting the whole time. So they had stuff called chamois cream, which helped take some of the friction away. And we still have chamois cream today and for good reason. As we talk a little bit about the fabric that it's made of as well as what the job it's supposed to do. So let's get to it. And I want to mention as we get into things here that I'm not selecting certain brands. I'm choosing things out of my own closet so that I can show you guys because I know the products very well. There are others that are dirty that I really would rather not show you guys because they're dirty. But these are a great example of the general feel for what the market is like. So the first one here is Hincopy. This is from the University of Pittsburgh, my alma mater, and also my first team that I coach. Now, when we went to purchase the bibs and the kits, we had a choice. We can pay more for a better pad or we can pay less and get more kits for everybody. So we wound up going with the latter and we kind of regretted it quite a bit. The reason is you're going to notice here. So they have, it looks like it's different foam densities, but really what it is is it's a cheaper way of making the pad appear that way and have different density properties. But really what they've done is just uh, heat treated it. You can actually see it's kind of coming off. They've heat treated it so it looks like different densities and it will sit a little bit better but especially for guys that are like me that are a little heavier or a lot heavier in the riding, it's gonna ride like a flat sitting on a pancake and it's not gonna be very comfortable. So these are still in my rotation. They're good for my 20 to 30 minute recovery rides on the rollers or outside, or if I'm commuting somewhere for 45 minutes to an hour where there's a lot of traffic lights and I can stand. So this is a low level bit uh, and chamois. By the way, one of the things you wanna be careful with with the lower level, I had a chamois from or a bib rather from Bellwether and it was very cheap. I bought it for $30 or something on an online website and I was excited. I got it and it looked great. It looked a lot better than this. I was like, oh great. I found a great deal and I wrote it and the edges were extremely hard because they had heat pressure treated it and cut it. So pay attention to the edges to make sure they're not going to cut into you. I rode those bibs once and then I, I actually threw them out because they were so poor. But just keep that in mind. So you're looking at everything about the bib. Now, taking a step up, these are the Castelli Kiss 3. This is a couple years old. They no longer make the Kiss 3. But what's nice about it is it has a tapered foam density. So it starts off nice and comfortable back here, real big, and then it gets lower or less dense as you get to the front, which makes it incredibly comfortable to lean forward in the saddle and slide back. These bibs have served me well. Uh, Castelli, I'm, I'm a big fan of their stuff. They have the grippers as well that are really nice. And uh, these last me three to four hours, I would say, in the saddle is what I wear these for. Next up is a newer bib that I picked up a couple weeks ago from Funk Your Bike, and I was actually pretty impressed. I believe that this is one of their higher level bibs and their higher level chamois. And what you'll notice is it has a higher, bigger density in through the back, has a cutout in through here, so there's not as much pressure as you go through, as well as it's well ventilated in through the front, making it nice and cool during the summer. So this is quickly becoming one of my favorite bibs, and I'll say I'll ride this, I think I did four and a half to five hours in this, it was pretty darn comfortable. So this is a higher quality bib. It has multi-density, bigger density pad in through the back where you need the support on the sit bones, and then a little bit less in through the front with the cutout to make it nice and proper for support on the bike as you roll forward and get into the drops. Now, these last pair are from the Tap Cycling. This is one of my favorite brands and uh, favorite bibs, rather, that I picked up from a new brand. And the Tap Cycling is very different. You can't find them in stores. They're only online, and their whole thing is they do one kit design per month, and they kind of run through it where you order, they show it, you order it, and then the end of the month, that's it. You can't get it anymore. So, kind of cool. These bibs are more expensive but they are definitely worth it. And you can see here that it is definitely different density for the foam. They have a nice cutout up, up through the side and up through the middle as well. It's well aerated in through the front so you don't have to worry about overheating. And these bibs I love, four, six hours in the saddle, no problem. They're very, very comfortable. And you'll notice that there's a little bit of a texture to this as well. And this is important to note when you're looking at a chamois because we wanna make sure that we're decreasing the amount of friction. So for some people, they'll ride without any chamois cream at all and they're very comfortable. For me, I almost always wear some type of chamois cream, and this just decreases the, the risk of friction and decreases the friction. If you remember at the beginning, I said that the Tour de France riders, the professional riders, they were actually 
a shorts with a leather sewn in. So they had to put cream on to keep them from having a sore undercarriage. Now, there's different types of chamois creams out there. There's uh, chamois butter, there's uh, these nuts, there's also chamois cream, there's sports balm. It's a matter of finding what fits right for you and works for you. But that being said, there's different densities. So don't think that all chamois creams have been created equal. So this here is the Asos chamois cream, which is a very light cream. You're gonna notice that as I, I rub it in, it kind of goes away and it remains kind of a surfactant. So it's pretty nice for summer or shorter rides. So in the winter here, I'll use this if I go out for about an hour or two. If I'm gonna go out in the rain in yuckier conditions or it's much more wet or more challenging outside, or the winter in general, I'm gonna use something that's a chamois bomb. So this is the chamois bomb from Sports Bomb. It's much thicker and it sticks much more. Now, one of the things I would recommend against is using petroleum jelly. I know some people like that because they're thinking, oh, I'm saving a bunch of money, but the petroleum can actually break down the, the fabric and the, the foam or the gel in through the cushion, as far as I know. I could be wrong, but I've been told numerous times don't use petroleum jelly and I've kind of perpetuated that. And that, I believe that that's true. And also, petroleum jelly doesn't smell as nice. This is mint. That one's mint. There's another one a friend of mine made, which was amazing. You can make uh, homemade chamois cream, which is incredible and a little bit challenging to do. But once you get it right, it's a lot of fun. You can put coconut oil, all natural ingredients. Anyhow, chamois cream you definitely want to do. Now, the lasso, once you have a proper fitting chamois, is also to make sure you're sitting right on the bike. So some people would say that it comes before the chamois. It's something that I like to say, you're going to splurge on the bibs, you want to get a, a more expensive part anyhow. Once you have them, you're not necessarily going to return them once you sit right on the bike. So this is the first thing, finding the right chamois for you and splurging on bibs. Do not buy a really nice jersey and then have really crappy bibs. The reason is, is that there's five pressure points on the bike, hand, hand, butt, foot, foot. And the butt is going to be taking most of the weight. So it's really important that you have a high quality, great pad under your butt so that you can ride comfortably. The bibs, or the shorts rather, are important. Yes, you have different fabrics, like this is very nice. The grippers are very nice, but really it's about the pad and decent kind of fabric on top of that. So find a great pad and splurge on bibs that you like that have a great pad in them and you can skimp a little bit on the jersey. So buy last year's jerseys or buy one that's a little bit cheaper than the one you like. Yes, it's nice to have the aerated fabric on the side and the under the grippers and all this stuff is nice. You can always open your jersey. You, as long as the pockets are accessible for you and big enough to carry your stuff, you know, the zipper is gonna work. The jersey's a jersey, but really you gotta spend a little bit more on the bibs. It's very, very personal as far as it comes to finding the right pair of bibs and chamois. So keep that in mind as you guys are going forward. And I hope you guys found this very informational and useful and that you will find the right bibs for you or shorts for you that you're able to ride smarter, not harder. And remember that it is all about you. Oh, one more thing before you go. Some of you guys have been emailing me saying, hey, I watched your presentation on USA Cycling about strength training for cycling. Can you give us some stuff on YouTube or some videos that we can see what we need to do? There's really great information and I see all this stuff out there and I'm not really sure what to do. Don't worry, I haven't forgot about you. I'm getting started on that, but I'm gonna finish my coffee, head out for a great Sunday morning ride. Now I'll probably do a Monday morning. I'll see you guys, enjoy your ride and find those bibs, find those shorts with the best chamois for you. Enjoy. Good coffee.